You are now tuned into WE Trust TV, affiliates focused forensics YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell for recent updates, leave a comment. We need you to share. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook, email me at cityofgold2018 at gmail.com. Well, I'm back with another video explaining what this is about. I was telling people and explaining to people that some of these videos might have different backgrounds. She might have been digitally put in certain areas in order to make it look like she was walking but stumbling at the same time. That's why there are so many cut and paste situations. The stumbling is the carrying and the falling and the tripping and the fighting back. That's the stumbling parts that are constantly deleted. Um, if you can really look at this, what I'm showing you is a perfect match with the background. It's just mighty odd that the door matches with the background of the scenery from the hallway in the freezer, in the office, in a stairwell, and also the pictures on the walls. But what's even more disturbing is that when I put the pictures and the videos together with her and her uncle, look at it. It becomes a perfect match. Supposedly this is her uncle, which I tell people I don't think so. I think he is the one that was taking pictures of the background and these are still images of backgrounds, but not technically her in those images. No, let me take that back. I think these is sort of like an Ocean Eleven thing where they took pictures and they camouflaged themselves within backgrounds and they knew where to sit and stand in order for the camera not to catch them as good, which allowed them to be able to edit it a lot easier. I think this was part of casing a place out, having pictures and knowing where to be, where to stand, how to edit. It was too many people involved, at least in this kitchen area. I was able to detect at least six to seven people within the kitchen area background camouflaged.